in your syllabus is spherical harmonics in mathematics spherical harmonics are the angular portion of a set of solutions to laplace equation in spherical polar coordinate system using separation of variable method spherical harmonics are important in many theoretical and practical applications particularly in the computation of atomic orbital electron configurations representation of gravitational field geoids and magnetic fields of planetary bodies and stars and the characterization of cosmic microwave background radiation these spherical harmonics are eigen functions of the square of the orbital angular momentum operator they also appear in the solutions of the schrodinger equation in the spherical polar coordinate systems the laplace spherical harmonics are widely used in physics and chemistry the spherical harmonics are introduced in order to find out the solutions of the laplace equation in spherical polar coordinate systems they are generally the normalized products of the associated legendary polynomials of azimuthal portion that is e raised to im phi and the polar portion that is p lm cos theta portions the solutions to the azimuthal angle that is phi equation are the exponential including the magnetic moment quantum number that is m and also the solutions of polar angle that is theta equations are the associated legendary polynomials which are different for each choice of a particular orbital angular momentum l and a particular magnetic moment quantum number m here the different values of l are 0 1 2 3 etc and the values of m varies between minus l to plus through zero the general formula of spherical harmonics is given by y lm theta phi that is equal to minus 1 raised to m root of 2l plus 1 into l plus l minus m factorial divided by 4 pi into l plus m factorial into p l m cos theta into e raised to i m phi here the factor minus 1 raised to m is included in this equation in order to make the sign of the whole spherical harmonics as positive it has the value the minus 1 raised to m has the value po- positively if m is greater than or equal to 0 and minus 1 raised to m is equal to 1 for m is less than or equal to 0 the this spherical harmonic functions are generally orthonormal and complete the orthogonality relation of spherical harmonics of two angles that is here there are two angle polar angle and azimuthal angle polar angle is theta and azimuthal angle is phi the polar angle is varied from theta is varied from 0 to pi and the azimuthal angle phi is varies from 0 to 2 pi and from this uh, the equation can be written as the orthogonality relation can be written as double integral that is integral of phi is equal to 0 to 2 pi and integral of theta is equal to 0 to pi y l m theta phi y l dash m dash theta phi dt and the result will become kronecker delta l l dash and kronecker delta value of m m dash where d to is sin theta d theta d phi is the differential solid angle in spherical of the spherical harmonics and the uh, the kronecker delta values in general the kronecker delta is defined as delta l m is equal to 0 when l not equal to m and delta l m is equal to 1 when l is equal to 1 the completeness of the spherical harmonics means that these functions are linearly independent and there does not exist any functions of theta and phi that is orthogonal to all the spherical harmonics that is y l m theta phi where l and m that ranges over all possible values that have been mentioned just before 
These spherical harmonics are sometimes separated into their real and imaginary parts. That is, by L M S. This M S means magnetic spin quantum number. That is, theta phi. That is equal to minus one raised to m into root of two L plus one into L minus m factorial divided by four pi into L plus m factorial into P L M cos theta sine m phi. And by L M C. Theta phi that is equal to minus one raised to m into root of two l plus one into l minus m factorial divided by four pi into l plus m factorial p l m cos theta cos m phi. The real form that is the first form is used in the associated legendary polynomials. And the few spherical harmonics values for L is equal to zero, one, two, three, etc. Are given below. For L is equal to zero, M has three values. So the Y L M has L M has three values. They are given by L zero zero that is root of one by four pi. When L is equal to zero, M is equal to minus one. It will become root of three by four pi into sine phi sine theta. And when L is equal to Zero and m is equal to zero. It will become root of three by four pi into cos theta. When l is equal to one, it has five values. They are y one zero, y one one, y two two, and y two minus one. When l is equal to two and m is equal to zero, it has three values: y two zero, two one, y two two. And this figure shows the graphical representation of general graphical representation of spherical harmonics. That is the plot of spherical harmonics y l m. Note that here modulus of y l m theta phi is actually symmetric with respect to rotation about its axis, since it depends only on the angle theta. The phase function changes with the periodicity of m. If we take the linear combination of the spherical harmonics, that result in the values of real valued spherical harmonics, and which has a phase value of is equal to zero for positive and pi for negative, that corresponding to typical orbital shape. That is, when L is equal to zero, it is s orbital. When L is equal to one, it is p orbital. And L is equal to two, it is equal to d orbital. And L is equal to three, it is equal to f orbitals. And these are the general plots of the various real valued spherical harmonics the shape uh, the plots of real wa valued spherical harmonics is gives the shape of the atomic orbitals and uh, this is the when l is equal to 0 m is equal to spherical l is equal to 0 m has three values when l is equal to 0 m has uh, and m is equal to minus 2 etc references quantum chemistry rk prasad concept of modern physics other basic chapter on hydrogen atom and some google